that one. Okay, so on GitHub, I have this package with the transmit. Can you see this diagram okay? Well, yeah. Derek, it, you or Clayton shake your head because those are the ones I see over That's here. Yeah. <laughs> Just fine. Just fine. Uh, okay. So the package has the transmit uh, and it has the receive. And then I have another package on GitHub called GR Web Server, which is a terminal emulation. So I put the three together with uh, the ZMQ sockets. And then the audio output from the transmit, I've got a physical patch cable from the headphone jack to the microphone jack. Actually, this is on my RPi. And then the, the Raspberry Pi sends the received data back to the display. Sound good? Okay, I'm going to stop sharing that one and see what we can do next. Um, oh, next thing I want to do is fire it up and show it running. So uh, here's my transmit. Sure would have been nice to have all of my screen, but we'll, we'll struggle through it. Okay, so here's, here's the transmit that started. See if I can pull that over. Yeah, can you see that? Yep. Okay, and, and you'll see some signals here once we start sending data. Okay, next I want to start another terminal and start my web server. And do us to do that. There we go. We can see everything. Oh, good. Okay. Here's the, the GR web server uh, screen. This is written in uh, Node.js and uses the browser as the, the screen. So anything I type here gets just sent to the, the ZMQ uh, socket and also gets displayed down here. And anything I receive gets displayed down here, just like a, a real terminal. So let's see if we can get things fired up here. So I've got... I've got the transmit up, I've got this up, and I'm gonna go to the RPI and start that one which is on a different computer, obviously. Okay. And in the next part, I'll show you what that screen looked like by moving my camera. But okay, right now, I want to get some text to send. So let's do a QBF, quick brown fox. Copy that and come up here and paste it. And we're ready to go here. This is a hell of a lot more. Pardon? Oh, I wanted to show this. <laughs> you see that? That was the transmit. Those are the, 
the tones and that's the data. And you can detect a little bit of different pattern as it shifts from, from the space to the mark. Okay, now back on this, that was received and the Bodo is always uppercase. It's only got 32 characters. So it has to shift between letters and numbers. And so it's only uppercase. So that this says I sent it and, and the less says I received it. So let me go back and do another one real quick and then we'll move on. Um, well, I can do figures here, be a good one. Could you hear that? Oh, we can't hear it, no. Or at least I couldn't. I heard it. The audio. Yeah, okay. I heard it. Then, I, I heard it okay. just fine. Yeah, let me let me do the QBF. It's a little longer. And by the way, you can correct the text on here until you hit the return, whatever you want there. You hear that one? Oh yeah. Good. <laughs> okay, that's what ready sounds like. Um, okay. A little shaky today. Okay, so we went through that, doing the loop back, did all that and sent some of those. Okay, I'm gonna close the transmit. Now it's time to go on the air. <laughs> what I have is, next slide. There it is. Okay. I have an adaptation of the Ready VCO that has a uh, USRP hooked to it. So I'm going to transmit a radio signal on two meters to a Pluto receiver back to the ready receive. Same basic stuff over here. So this, this is on the Raspberry Pi and this is on my Lenovo Ubuntu system. Okay. Now, let me go back to that. And here's the, okay. Here is the, the audio version of the transmitter. And here's the U USRP version. The only thing different is coming, well, two things. There's a complex version of the VCO block where it outputs a complex signal instead of a, a float. So at this point, the sample rate, I've changed to 50,000 here. Sample rate's 50,000. Interpolate by 20, I get a, a one meg signal into the USRP and do some filtering on it. That good? Okay, so two things need to happen here. I've got to start the transmitter. Need my cheat sheet back. 
17 and 21. I have canned commands. Actually, it's just bash history, but I, I force certain ones. into my bash history where I know where they are. Then I don't have any typing mistakes. Okay, so now this is the, the same uh, scope basically, but I'm transmitting on the air this time. So now I'm gonna go over to the Pluto and I have to move a cable. Start the receiver. Okay, so now we should be set. Sometimes it takes a little tinning, but uh, you know, I'm transmitting 144.95, receiving, coming back here. So let's see if it remembered what I had. Yep. So now I'm gonna transmit. There's my data going out and in a minute I'll show you the data coming back. There, there's the echo. Now let me uh, get things set up here and I'll I'll turn my camera around. Okay. Paste. Paste. Enter. Don't know how well you can see that. The upper part is the receiver and you can see the where the signal was in the waterfall and the lower part is uh, the uh, frequency plot in the uh, in the ready receive program. You know, Barry, uh, I'm not Wait. seeing that screen. Pardon? Uh, I'm not seeing that. This is on Barry's uh, actual camera. Uh, 